Welcome to this design analysis video on the Volvo 262C. Before I go into the video, please like the video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so before. It helps grow the channel so we can invest back into awesome videos like this. The Volvo 200 series was designed by Jan Wilschaert and it was produced by Volvo from 74 until 93. With over 2.8 million cars sold worldwide, it was a massive success. And its boxy, confident shape and strong shoulders make the 200 series one of the most iconic Volvos ever produced. The 200 bared much resemblance to the earlier 140 series. The cars shared the same basic body shell. However, the 200 incorporated features and design elements from the 1972 Volvo VESC concept car, or the Volvo Experimental Safety Car. And with its crumple zones, the 200 series was a lot safer compared to the 100. After a team of American executives and engineers had visited a Volvo factory in the mid-1970s, bringing a Lincoln Continental Mark IV, Volvo staff got interested in the vehicle typology. The then brand new Volvo CEO and chairman Peer Gillemhammer asked Jan Wilskaert to look at the possibilities of designing a similar vehicle for Volvo. The project started between the two men. Wilskaert convinced Gillenhammer that the only realistic possibility for Volvo, a small independent manufacturer at the time, to be present in the United States with an exclusive coupe model to compete against the Cadillac Eldorado and the Mercedes-Benz 280CE was to build the car on an existing platform. Without having facilities nor funding to spare on a low volume vehicle, the only realistic option was to use the Volvo 200 floor plan. Wilskaert asked the Italian Coglia to help in producing design proposals, as within Volvo's own design department, no budget was present to develop the car any further. Wilskaert and Coglia worked together on a full-scale model of plaster and steel based on an American spec two-door 260. Initially, Coglia lowered the roof of the base car very radically. This was then reversed at Wilgaard's request, and shortly after this, the green light for production was given by Killenhammer. Volvo's low-volume producer Bertone was asked to build the radical new coupé. The Bertone-Volvo collaboration started in 1975 with the Volvo 264 TE limousines, of which only 335 were built. About 125 of the limousines went directly to Erich Honecker, the General Secretary of the Socialist Unity Party in Germany's Democratic Republic. Bertone made the roof pillars, the floor plan, the windshield surround, the coal and the upper parts of the doors to fit the greatly lowered roof. And despite being less extreme than the Coglia proposal, it was still an extreme 10 cm lower compared to the regular Volvo 240 or 260. The drivetrain, suspension, floor plan and many of the body panels of the 262C were taken directly from the 260 sedan. Pictured in this homage sketch is a 1979 262C in USA spec. This car is featuring the arguably more impressive front end, boasting double square headlights and a lower chin spoiler. The 262C is a provocative design with its confident stance, especially sitting on the pictured larger multi-spoke alloy wheels. The 262C's simple but confident and consistent surfacing throughout and the impressive down-the-road graphic, not in the least because of the large grille up front, makes that the 262C leaves a lasting impression, even despite the fact it wasn't sold in significant numbers. <laughs> 